Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Kevin Harvick's Bush Beer Ducks Unlimited Texas win from 2019. As always, take a quick look at the box. Once again, you should have your generic raced version box from last year. Got Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series. Got your winner sticker and raced version. Got 2019 race winner, 2019 Texas Motor Speedway winner. Got to render the car right there. Standard finish. They made a total of 648 of these things. Monster Engine NASCAR Cup Series, standard finish, got your winner sticker, got the 2019 race schedule on the back of the box, Monster Engine NASCAR Cup Series, 2019 action racing collectibles, and you of course have your copyright and such on the bottom of the box. Anyways, here is the car itself. The kind of first car that really sparked this like span of special bush paint schemes winning. You know, he's won with like four or five different paint schemes this year already, and then he won with this last year. Shame he didn't win with that pit for Bush car. That was a really nice paint scheme. Definitely be getting that and reviewing it. But anyways, this of course does come with a few things. You have your little race winner sticker, and you have your stat card, if you want to read that. But now let's get down to the car itself. This is a very nice special paint scheme. Whole car is covered in kind of like swamp grass. You got a duck bill on the hood. Down the side, you got a picture of some mountains with some ducks flying past and some water and a beautiful scene. Another fantastic Bush Beer car. Bush Beer really does know how to kill their paint schemes because they just make beautiful paint schemes. So I really can't think of a single Bush Beer car from the past few years that I've ever been like, oh, that's awful. I hate it. Like, there's none of them. I like the Millennial car. Like, it's supposed to look stupid and it, you know... Does that quite well. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Bush Beer, brewed in the USA. Got Ford Mustang, number four. Down the side, you got Bush. You got Haas down there. And you got Ducks Unlimited in front of the rear wheel, as well as Fields, Exalta, and Rush Truck Centers. Got Mobile One on the C post. And on the B post, you have Ford, Mobile One, Haas, Fields, and Hunt Brothers Pizza. Got the four winner stickers up there. Does, of course, have all the playoff markings, as this was the fall race. So you got your splitter, you got your windshield banner, and you have your spoiler. As you can see, it was the round of eight. I'm still really curious to see what happens this year with the playoff markings. Is it going to be, like, white, like the new winter stickers, or that kind of fake chrome look? I've also heard rumors of it being, like, each of the primary premier sponsors. Like, you know, one round being Coca-Cola, one round being Bush, one round being Geico, one round being Xfinity, which would just be kind of weird. It would just lead to, like, probably diecast getting produced with the wrong color and such. I don't know. But anyways, on the back of the car, you got Bush. Got two Ducks Unlimited logos. Bush.com slash Ducks Unlimited. Got Mobile One and Number Four. And it would say Bush on the decklet if you could see it. Some we'll talk about a little bit later. And you, of course, have the same stuff down the other side. Let's take a look under the hood, which, as I've always said, Mustang hoods never want to open. Seats is powered by Ford, Mobile One, Haas, and Wix filters. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Obviously no deck lid. Roof flaps, of course, do open. And there is the underside of the car if you want to see that. As you can see, they put the din under here because it's so confetti covered. This is number 495. But now let's get down to the damage and stuff and worth talking about the confetti. This car had a lot of confetti on it, but not quite this much. They didn't really follow the reference photos for some reason. The reference photos, there's a lot more like splotches and piles of confetti all around. You could see like the U, you could see like half the Bush logo on the deck lid in the reference photo. But for some reason, they like spread it out smoothly along the car. I mean, I guess maybe it looks better than some piles, but it's also inaccurate and it's pissing some people off because, you know, this is so much confetti, you can't even see like anything. You can't see the Bush logo. You can't see the four on the roof. You can't see whatever was right there. You can barely see the Bush logo on the hood. I believe he also signed this in black, Sharpie, for the autograph version, so that also pissed people off. But, like I said, just such a strange thing that Lionel would spread out their confetti so much like that, because it didn't look like that. Very rarely has Lionel not followed the reference photo, so I don't know if there was, like, some reason for it, if they just didn't want to try to do a bunch of clumps, so they just said, we'll just spread it out. I don't know. But it's definitely worth pointing out that that is not accurate. But anyways, for the rest of the damage, it is basically just dirty. This has really no real damage. 
You can see it is dirty on the front, hard to see in the grass part of the car, but you can see down on the splitter. Luckily, they did actually add dirt and grime to this car, and like that Kyle Larson Dover when they, you know, botched. But pretty much just dirty. You see the bottom of the side skirt is kind of blacked out on both sides. I'm not sure if he rubbed that off or if that's just like a Lionel error. Or did it actually look like that? Was there actually a very black edge to it? I'll have to go look at photos again. But it's even got confetti down there and like the little indent for the side skirt. So it's not a huge deal just for the fact that it was shit piled in confetti. Like... Everyone knew that going in. It's just weird how they did the confetti that was shit piled around the car. But got another pile of confetti right there sitting on the kind of shelf of the right rear quarter panel. On the back, it's black, so you really can't see much of anything. And on the left rear, again, you can barely see much of anything. I guess they did the confetti so much just because it's the only way you can tell this car's a race version. I don't know. They did make a clean version of this car, but for some reason it didn't have the playoff markings. You can see the side skirt is you know, blackened out the bottom down here too. If you want this car, it is a brand new release. You can get it right now. This is already actually getting rare. I'm not entirely sure why it's getting rare immediately, but I guess it's another special Bush Harvick win. So maybe if you want the set of all the special Bush Harvick wins. Though all those loud in New Hampshire wins last year for some reason never really got rare. Really don't understand that one. That was the only way to get that paint scheme. It's a cool special paint scheme and it didn't get rare yet. Maybe it will at some point, but there's a lot of those cars that will just sit around for a few years, and then just one day you'll just go to find it, and it'll just be gone off eBay and gone off everywhere. But that's a story for another day. I think that trains all ours to say. This has been a review of Kevin Harvick's Bush Beer Ducks Unlimited win from 2019. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.